Jamaica is a paradise, especially when you do it right at an upscale resort like Couples Tower Isle in Ocho Rios. They have a saying here, no problem, man, and it's all inclusive. You get it all, motorized water sports, snorkeling, premium cocktails, and fine dining. The food is wonderful. Staff treats us like we're family. The signature restaurant at Couples Tower Isle is Eight Rivers, which is the English translation of Ocho Rios. And inside the kitchen, the chefs are always coming up with new ways to translate classic dishes into Jamaican masterpieces. All right, we're in the kitchen of the Eight Rivers Restaurant, and I'm here with Chef Stefan, who is sharing a lot of great secrets to a lot of the wonderful dishes you serve here. And for a main course, he's serving beef tenderloin with Caribbean-style mashed potatoes and pickled pumpkin. The pumpkin we're using is not your usual Halloween pumpkin that <laughs> no, you might be used to, it's right. but it's our Caribbean pumpkin or um, calabaza pumpkin also, as the, uh, as the Spaniards really call it. It's much softer and much more buttery, of course. And the secret to this, because we want nice strips of pumpkin, is a uh, food mandolin. And that saves a lot of step. And you're right, look at this, Chef. Absolutely. I mean, these are perfect. So, for the marinade, I've already put on some water on the fire. Okay. Water is boiling, small amount of water. We're adding some white wine to that. So we're adding some sugar, a little bit more sugar there, really. What we have here is, again, our fresh pimento straight from the tree. So we're using some of the um, black pimento berries couple of cloves. We're adding some bay leaf to that. We are adding some fresh thyme. Now all of that is going into a little bag. A coffee filter at home or something Absolutely, like that if you want exactly. to. And we'll tie it up. The chef drops that in the pot along with a touch of white vinegar. And then we have some onion, some okay. sliced onion. We're actually adding the sliced onion to this. We are taking the liquid and we're putting it together with the spice bag. We don't want to discard that yet because we want all that flavor. So we're putting that right over the pumpkin. If we were to boil this, we, the pumpkin would get too soft. Just right. Ideally, we want to do this from overnight. Okay. And we want to let it sit now, um, cool down, let it sit for the next day so we're ready with, the, um, with our garnish. Overnight, this is what it looks like the next day. Exactly. It'll become slightly soft and all these flavors, all the vinegar, all the white wine, all the spices, especially that fresh pimento, the cloves, everything will be absorbed by the pumpkin. Just right. Perfect. It looks like we're uh, ready to go with this one too. Absolutely. So. so we have two pieces of tenderloin, about six ounces. All I like to do with my steaks really is just put some freshly ground black pepper on them. Okay. Salt and pepper. And um, instead of grilling them, we're going to pan sear them. Let's do them from both sides. And then we're searing those two steaks on all sides. Getting a nice crust already. And then we want to sear the sides also. Also do all the sides. Another okay. secret, not just the top and bottom. After a quick sear, the beef goes onto the plate and into the oven. Cook it'll take about anything between five, six, seven minutes, depending on how well done you want it. Then he uses the same pan to make a sauce using butter, onion, and garlic. And we're going to add some pork to that. And of course, nice little flavor agent there. Absolutely. Wow. And we're going to flame that. I'm all burning off, flavor in. And then with that also, secret ingredient, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit. It gives it that sour sweetness. And then we're going to add to that some brown beef stock. Look, it looks great. Absolutely. That's another secret ingredient. That, Absolutely. Uh, some more flavor yeah. into that. Um, and it's one of my other favorites, which is tamarind paste. We grow tamarind here in Jamaica. And it's got a wonderful sourness and rich, rich taste. So we're adding just a little bit of that tamarind paste into that. The sauce is nice and reducing. We're taking a couple of cubes of butter and we're just folding in a little more a flavor and give it a nice little, little sheen on the top. Exactly, I mean, a bit of a French style Monte au beurre. All right, chef, while the steaks are cooking, we're going to grill off some greens, I understand. Exactly, we need something a little bit green on the plate, okay. something healthy. And for that, we're going to use a little bit of our vinaigrette, just a homemade balsamic vinaigrette. Any kind of vinaigrette will do. We'll just wet that side. And this is a, a bok choy, you said? This is bok choy, exactly, bok choy. which is again very, very popular in Jamaica also, locally grown. And then we're going to put that directly onto our grill. Secret, exactly. We do want a little bit of that flame. We really want that charred. 
Don't want to burn it. All right, chef, it looks like we're going bananas here at the yes, East River green, Restaurant. Green bananas, actually. Green bananas, I like that. Here's and, a bunch um, right here. Not many people know that you can actually eat green banana. And it is exactly the same banana that you would find, you know, back home in the, in the stores, the yellow banana. They're just not fully ripe. So we're using like a potato idea, the idea of mashed potatoes, and we're using, we're mixing bananas into it. So you just basically peel those. You're just peeling the green banana um, all the way down. Okay. And you're keeping them in water with a little bit of oil. If there wasn't any oil in there, they would turn black. So we actually cook them in milk. A great new kick on mashed potatoes. Add green bananas. So we're putting our banana right in the center of the plate. We smashed it. We don't mash it too much, so you have still a bit of texture in there. Not too fine. So the steak goes right on top right of on it. Top. That's what I call steak and potatoes. <laughs> but green bananas are added in there. Exactly. And then we have that pickled pumpkin. Look at that color that goes on there now. It's just nice. beautiful. That wonderful sauce. Look how that just turned all that beautiful color, that sheen, all those flavors. Now time to go green. Grilled pak chow leaf here now. And we're putting that right on top of it. Chef, incredible. Awesome. Uh, thank you for sharing a lot of your secrets with thank us. Thank you. It was great really having you. And the hits keep on coming. Oh, that was... Next on Secrets of Resort Chefs, a classic French dessert gets fired up with a taste of Jamaica. It doesn't get any better than it does right here. It's Crepe Suzette, Caribbean style, when Secrets of Resort Chefs returns. The Caribbean is just a click away at allinclusiveoutlet.com. Discount internet pricing with personal travel agent service. Escape to the world's finest all-inclusive resorts that offer fine dining, premium bars, and VIP service. Find your paradise at allinclusiveoutlet.com. Log on now and get away. Allinclusiveoutlet.com. Internet pricing, personal service, everything you need to get to the Caribbean is just a click away at allinclusiveoutlet.com.